been interested in drones for a long time, and then when they came out with a commercial license, I uh, signed up with a, uh, uh, a website to study for the test and went and took the test at an airport. The test itself um, was very meticulous, uh, lots of charts, lots of graphs. Um, I would say if you don't study, you won't pass. It was, uh, it was a chore. I'm learning to fly But I ain't got wings Coming down Is the hardest thing We are like this commercial drone pilots and that's a little bit different than a hobbyist and yet the hobbyists don't have the same kind of restrictions that a professional drone pilot does and that does scare me because they do crazy things with their drones. You have people doing all kinds of crazy things and then that makes it difficult for us the good guys who really do need to use these as a tool or informational purposes you know, for public interest to do what we need to do without jumping through so many hoops of restrictions because of somebody else that did something bad It works great for the news business because we can take this in places where you can't, or get perspectives that you can't see from the camera on the ground. You don't have to have a helicopter, which is very, very expensive. Thousand dollars an hour to fly a helicopter. Thousand dollars buys you a drone. You can get, you know, if you take care of it, years of use out of it. So, like I said, it, it opens up the doors television-wise because now we can broadcast live from a drone. You know, we can shoot video from a drone. We can take still pictures from a drone. So with, combine that with aerial mapping software and you can open up a whole new gamut of, of information. Real estate is the big thing. Real estate companies, I don't think I've seen a real estate ad for a home in the last year that didn't have drone footage or pictures. And uh, so that's really big. Roofing companies use them to inspect roofs without having to get up on the top and then they can show people what their damaged roof looks like. Uh, just there's all kinds of applications and I'm sure there'll be more and more as time goes on. Drones are fun, you know, and that's the best part. I think that's why people got into it to begin with was it's fun. And, you know, like anything out there you do, you have to be responsible. But if you don't have a drone and you're looking to get a drone, get a drone. But be sure you know what you're doing first, but it is a lot of fun. Just a, a, they're great. It's a great new technology and, you know, I look forward to uh, seeing the advancements in the future. They're getting smaller, they're getting faster, they're having higher resolution and more capabilities. So, I mean, it sounds like a pun, but the sky's the limit. Come on, take a little taste of freedom high up in the cloud.